Hey, we're here at the Super Micro booth at Computex 2024. I got Benedict here with me to talk about some of the new Blackwell systems. We're going to start with this big thing. How many U is this? How high is this? So it's 10 U system. 10 U, okay. Yeah. And what's it got in it? We have uh, eight that we, uh, that will a Blackwell GPU. Okay, so we got eight Blackwell GPUs yes. in here. Xeon processors. Yes, Xeon processor. Sixth gen. Yes. Six gen. Okay, so the new sixth gen processor yes, support. Right. I see a lot of storage on here. That's good. Everybody's worried about getting their storage close. Uh -huh. So the all NVMe storage. All flash NVMe. Okay. Up Is to it ten of those? Okay. U.2, and we have uh, eight uh, U1.S and MV drive okay. and two M.2 and MV. Oh, okay. These are cool. I don't think I've seen these before. Yeah. That's the little boot drive carrier in there. So it looks yeah. like you can take a couple different sizes yes, that you right, need. You're right. And then uh, we're familiar with the E3.S and of course the U.2. Uh, this E1.S. Uh, E1.S. Yeah, right. Sorry. Um, so the Blackwell is on the top, the top. and the CPU trace at the bottom. Okay. So we just, we separate out the thermal thermal AFO in two different areas. Yeah. So it's much easier for us to dissipate the heat out from the system. Okay. So this is a good fit if I don't have or can't get liquid cooling. Yes, you're right. So this is one of the best system that we can offer to okay. the industry. Right this is the latest and greatest. Just it's coming out. When does this come out? When can I get uh, one of these? Around like. Q4 to country. Okay, Q4, maybe maybe early next year. Yes. Uh, how much power does this guy use? Oh, so we come with eight, po eight power supply. Okay. So each power supply comes with 3,000 watts. Okay, so wow. four, four plus four redundancy, four plus four setup, redundancy okay. setup. So each system is about 12,000 watts. Awesome. Well, I see something interesting over there. Let's go take a look. All right, so this one's got some stuff coming out of it. It's got all these uh, pipes and tubes and stuff. What's yeah. this? Yeah, so pretty much if the customer have the facility to go with the liquid cooling solutions, okay. so they can migrate from air solution to the liquid solutions. And what we can offer here is we are able to increase the density of the system in a rack. Yeah. Right? Simply double the density. And okay. we are offering a liquid cooling solution both from CPU tray and the GPU itself. Okay. Right? So. Eight GPU of eight GPU with two pair of the cold plate solutions, yeah. right? So for each. Okay, and so this is what for you? Yeah, this is a for you solution. Okay, so you could double more than double your. Yeah, density so let's on say this. in a forty-eight U rack space, yeah. we can put up to eight of those. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. That's super cool. What else you got to show me at this booth? All right, so this one's a little shorter. This is eight U air cooled. What's yeah, in here? Yeah. So besides B two hundred solution, we have B one hundred solutions. Okay. So eight of those in yep. in an eight U form factor. Okay, and they're getting Intel CPUs. Intel CPUs, Xeon six, right? Okay. And uh, we offer uh, up to uh, six. Six uh, three thousand watt power supply here. Okay. So three plus three redundancy or four plus three redundancy. Yeah, because the uh, B one hundred don't need as much power, right? Yes, so this right. This is a little bit more efficient. Yes. Not quite as powerful, but yes. uh, maybe you've got rack power limitations or something yes, right, like that. Right, right, right. Okay. So definitely this one of option to consider. I see a, a very common design theme across the front between the NICs and the storage and, and the, the. Yeah, you're right. So we call this as the universal GPUs. Yeah. So pretty much everything I look the same. The features set everything the same. Then we are able to upgrade or scale up the GPU from. B100 or B200, these kind of solutions. Very cool. Okay, Benedict, I see something really cool over there. What, what's uh, what's that? So we have a good series of MJF solutions, and I will hand it over to my, my colleagues, Howard, to talk okay. more about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, so this one's a little smaller than what we saw over there. Uh, what do we got going on in here? Yeah, so this is our 1U liquid cool solution. Okay. We have a 1U2 node, GH200. GH200 so there will okay. be two Hopper GPUs in here with MVLink chip to chip interconnect with our gray CPUs with the H100 GPUs on the motherboard. Okay. On the front side, we have support of up to 8 E1.S. Okay. And on the rear side, we have two slots on each side for by 16s where you can support your DPU, Bluefield Blue 3s, or your Mellanox CX7. So continuing with the NVIDIA MGX ecosystem, here we have our 4U x86 air-cooled GPU system. This x86 4U GPU system, we can support up to 36 E1.S. That's a lot of storage. Yes. Does it all go through the, the PCI switch? Yes. So okay. right now, it's connected to the motherboard, which is our X13 um, 5th gen Xeon Intel CPUs. Okay. And then in the back, we have another PLX uh, PCIe carrier board. This, we can support up to 8 H100 GPUs. And in the future, we'll support the H200s with MB links as well. Okay. Under the PCIe uh, PLX carrier board, we can support up to four 
516 Mellanox or DPUs, and then a fifth one on the very side of the PLX carrier board. And are those PCI slots or OCP slots in the back on the bottom? Those are all PCI slots connected okay. by riser cables on the bottom. Wonderful. So this one looks a little smaller. What's this here? So continuing with our x86 support in the yeah. MGX ecosystem, here we have our 2U x86 MGX. Okay. In the front, you can see we can support up to eight U1.S drives. Yep. We have redundant power supplies over here. And inside, we have our X13 motherboard. Okay. We do plan to support X14 to drop down from the 4U into the 2U. Okay. And then on the rear side, we have support for two GPUs on each side. Okay. And something special about this 2U X86 GPU server is that you can have two pairs of MB links on oh, your right. GPUs on each side. We have special GPU cages okay. on each side that we can support MB link bridges. And this is only air cold? This one is air cold. Okay, so that's, yes. that's a lot of compute for air cold. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And on top of that, between the two sides of GPUs, in the yep. middle, we have space for three by 16 PCIe slots where you can support one Bluefield 3 and two Mellanox DX7s. One more over here. A uh, little bit of a different layout. What's going on in here? So here we have our 2U air-cool GH200 system. This one is a 2U one node. On one node, we can have two H100 GPUs chip-to-chip -chip interconnect with the Grace CPUs. In the front, also, we can have support up to eight E1.S drives. Mm -hmm. In the back, we have space for three 516 PCIe slots for your one DPU and two Mellanox DX7s as well. All right, Howard, well, you got a lot of cool air-cooled stuff here uh, for Grace Blackwell, Grace Hopper, uh, all this fun stuff going on in the Supermicro booth. Appreciate the tour. All right, continuing our exploration of here in the Supermicro booth at Computex yep. 2024, uh, we're back with the uh, APU server. Yes. I haven't seen this one yet. I actually don't know much about it. What can you tell me? So this is our free air-cooling uh, 4U APU system, Okay. Uh, quad, of the, quad APU. So we have two on the left and two on the right. And uh, it's a free cooling solution. Can support up to uh, 24 drive, right, and 16 NVMe, and it and uh, and up to 24 uh, Sera or Sera drive. Yeah. And at the same time, this system can support up to 16 PCI slot, full okay. high fuller, and two AIOM slot for Ethernet. That's quite a lot of I/O on there. Yeah. Now, I know what an APU is, just let's refresh for the audience. So this is the MI300A, the A represents APU, yes. and that's the GPU with, with the, the Genoa processor. Yeah. So it's a combination of both in the same module. And, and the, we call it as APU. And what are, what are the benefits for that? The benefit is um, they have the shared memory architecture. So both uh, CPU and uh, yeah. mem uh, GPU, they are able to talk to the same memory sharing at the same time. So more efficient, it's very good for HP application. Okay, and uh, those are x86 cores, so it's a little different from the Grace stuff. Yes, you're right. It's that's our architecture, and it's yeah. x86. Okay, so this is the four. This is the four U version. Um, and now uh, Supermicro is also offering a two U solution. Okay, also in air? a liquid cooling solution. Oh, liquid. Yeah. Okay, and then. I see behind us here we've got a 4U liquid cooled. So what can you tell me about that? So this is our MI300X solutions. Okay. We're up to eight of those in a 4U solutions. Okay. So that's more the traditional CPU and then GPU off GPU, to the side. Yes, right. And that's eight way. Those are all interconnected. Yes, yes, yes. And able to support up to uh, 10 PCI slot at the same time, have uh, NVMe support, okay. uh, redundancy, right, with the latest uh, processor on, on it as well. And I see we've got eight uh, U.2 bays up front on there for our local storage. Yes. And uh, a lot of high-speed networking on there. I think those go up to 800 gigabit now. Yeah, you're right. Wonderful. All right, thank you for uh, thank you. the AMD server tour. These are really no cool. Problem. We'll link in the description of all these cool servers that we've seen across these two booths and uh, link to the site for our news press release as well for the uh, same information. Thanks, Howard. Appreciate thank your you. time.